Welcome back. We may be in the thick of high temps right now, but cooler days are ahead in the answer. To all that stress in your life, it could be right outside your front door. Janelle Shepard from Sweat and Sunshine Wellness is here to explain why it's not enough to just work out. You have to work out outside, right? This is your approach to dealing with stress through fitness. That's right, yeah. I have a couple approaches I wanna share with you guys today, but anytime we can take our physical activity outdoors, we're going to exponentially increase the benefits. We're always gonna get the benefit of sunshine and nature. Sunshine is important because it's the conductor of the orchestra that is our circadian rhythm. Is circadian Ooh, I love rhythm. That. <laughs> that's what is going to tell us our whole body is when to do what it's supposed to do. If we can get sunlight, natural sunlight, mm -hmm. during those waking hours on a regular basis, we're going to have the right amount of energy at the right time. It tells your brain this is the morning when you see the sunrise, and it's nighttime when you see the sunset. You got it, exactly. And being out um, uh, in, in greenery, they call it forest bathing? That's right, yeah. There's something called attention restoration theory, and it explains really beautifully how nature has a unique ability to restore our fatigued attention span. But we don't really need research to know that. We all yeah, know, we go outside, feel we feel better. So yeah, there's also from sunlight, our vitamin D. Right. It's gonna be essential to fighting disease and bone strength. So always, always more benefits when we get outside. And you have some stretches that are good for stress because apparently three quarters of Americans are stressed out, we can't sleep. So maybe you can take us through some simple stretches that people can do. Look, it's too hot to be outside, we get it. But keep these in mind for when it cools down. That's right, yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm kicking off my heels. So we've learned a lot about the mind-body connection in recent years, and one of the most useful things I think we've discovered is the mind-body connection works both ways. So not only um, if we think about a stressful event, are we gonna feel that tension in our bodies? Right. But if we can put our body in a relaxing position, we can actually influence our mind. Yes, so you're going from the body to the mind, and not it. trying to tell your mind to relax, but your body's relaxed. That's right, so if we uh, head to the mat, we'll stand with our feet just about hips width apart. Okay. We'll hinge at the hips. Unhinging. We're hinging. <laughs> we'll leave a slight bend at the knee. And we're just gonna let those arms hang down nice and loose. We'll shift our weight from our heels to our toes, keeping the heels on the ground. And with each breath, we can try to lengthen the spine. And then as we exhale, maybe fold a little deeper. So you just wanna stay here till you're feeling nice and relaxed. And then when you're ready, slowly roll on up. I was mostly just thinking about the Band-Aid on my toe and how not cute that would be. But you know, when you wear heels, sometimes you get a blister. That's right. <laughs> but a little bit of stretching goes a long and way. And the breathing, that really helps your nervous system too, right? Definitely. Do you Absolutely. have any standing stretches you like doing? Oh, I like a good um, quad stretch or okay. even, um, uh, well, yeah, quad stretch. We can just reach back here. This is also good for your balance, right? It is, it's great for practicing balance. And mindfulness too, because you, you have to focus or you're gonna tip over. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Do you take your clients outdoors when it cools down? I absolutely do. I am a, a wellness, or excuse me, an outdoor wellness guide. So I love to teach people how to use the outdoors to really make themselves feel a lot better and, and manage that stress. Yeah, I mean, you, my dad always says, you can't be stressed out when you're walking or running. When, yes. Whichever one you can do. Like when your body's moving, something just happens to your, to your body. How do you explain that to your clients? Well, there's something called the stress response cycle. So this is a physiological process that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And we're always starting it. Very rarely are we finishing yes, it. Yes, right. So 10 minutes of physical activity that's moderate to high intensity. So if you think of a scale of 1 to 10, maybe you're four to six, mm -hmm. work out there for about 10 minutes, that's actually going to bring your body, your uh, nervous system back to a more calm state. That's a really great point, Janelle. You don't need an hour and to drive to the gym. You need 10 minutes and you could just put on three songs you like and dance around your house. That'll do the trick. It's gonna break that cycle up. That's right. right? Okay, thank you so much for being here. Everyone, touch your toes. <laughs> We're, we're, move around. I have one of those little mini trampolines. Yes. That's great too.